Fox News has confirmed National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster was in San Francisco this past weekend for a secret meeting about North Korea. Sources say McMaster met with his counterparts from Japan. Also tonight, another scary false alarm about an incoming North Korean missile, this time in Japan. And today in Canada, America's top diplomat continued his meetings about North Korea's nuclear threat. Correspondent Rich Edson is traveling with the secretary and reports from Vancouver. Another mistaken missile alert in a region already on edge. This time, Japanese public broadcasters warned residents to take shelter, that North Korea had launched a missile. NHK sent a correction five minutes later. 33 fewer minutes of panic than those on Hawaii endured this weekend, before that government fixed its mistaken alert. We will not allow North Korea to drive a wedge through our resolve or our solidarity. In Vancouver, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and his Canadian counterpart are hosting 18 other nations to coordinate efforts to choke North Korean finances. Tillerson warned North Korea launches could destroy passenger airplanes or fail and strike Japan. Based on its past recklessness, we cannot expect North Korea to have any regard for what might get in the way of one of its missiles or part of a missile breaking apart. The State Department says the countries here are also discussing a potential naval blockade of North Korea, diplomatic ways to compel Kim Jong-un to negotiate. According to the Canadian press, the government here is also trying to send a message to the Trump administration. The CBC reports Canadian officials at this summit want to show widespread international support for diplomacy to help Secretary Tillerson counter hawkish elements in the Trump administration. Critics claim this summit will accomplish little without North Korea's most significant ally and trading partner China. Organizers also refuse to invite Russia. A senior State Department official tells us that Secretary Tillerson will be calling soon. His counterparts in China and Russia update them about these meetings here today. The secretary will be updating us in about 90 minutes with a press conference here in Vancouver. And while these countries work on isolating North Korea, North and South Korea are scheduled to talk again. More discussions about the Olympics next month in South Korea. Brett? Rich Edson, live in Vancouver. Rich, thanks.